Hello my lovely Libra, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look what's coming for you this month, April 2023, regarding money, manifestation, finances and all the beautiful things that you want and need in your life. How are you doing Libra? I really hope you're doing great. Uh, just remember this is a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising, so take the messages that do resonate and drop the rest. First, I want to find out where you at right now. What did you bring over from March? What kind of energies are here with you right now? Where you stand, what you're thinking, what you're happy with, what you're not happy with and so on as well. Let's find out where you at right now. Ooh la la. Wow. Journey. Okay, you all done up, you're ready to go, bags are packed, off you go. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ten is completion. So either you're leaving something or you're moving somewhere towards something new. However, this card for some of you guys is really not just a physical uh, journey, but it could be a new journey. Maybe you just finished many, many years of work. Okay, in one place, and now you want to change the journey into something new, changing uh, your employee, okay, employee statement or status or whatever. It's just real change with positive change. Maybe you decide, I'm, I, you know what, I want to retire, or you know what, I want to travel for a year, or maybe you just uh, finished the school and you're like, you know what, I'm ready for this journey. <laughs> indeed so you are full of you're full of excitement you might not know what's gonna come and this is this is an interesting oh this is kind of very interesting uh energies right now right let's have a look what do we have for you for this month and um, this month kicks off straight with the full moon in libra your sign uh-huh so balance there is very important to have a balance so before you go on the journey if this physical journey just uh you know go and visit people that you maybe didn't uh settle well last time maybe you didn't have a conversation that ended too well so you kind of have a good um balance right you kind of setting a good tone but this is uh, reflects not just um personally but you know in business as well so keep the boss and keep yourself in good books and regarding your boss here we go nine of cups nine of cups is interesting coming this month it's a lot of about how you're feeling bringing that happiness making wishes coming true maybe you're starting your own business that is really fulfilling you there's a lot of especially this month Especially when this month's Mercury is going retrograde in Taurus. And it's starting on the 21st of April. However, it's going to have a ripple effect towards to the beginning of April. And will end by end of May. Even though it finishes 14th of May. It will bring a lot of um, kind of a little bit of stability. But it's going to bring more clarity for those who are creative. A lot of creativity. Something that's maybe you're starting business from your kitchen table or your garage, okay? It's something from your home, some sort of dream. Maybe you're starting your dream job, dream hobby you're turning into business, or finally you can retire and start to do things that you enjoy the most. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. But you know what it is? I don't think you're faced. Even five is challenge. Okay, it could be the the card. The money is not as much on your mind at the moment, because you know it's coming. <laughs> Hang on, you have some, there's some epiphany going on. You are not faced by by anything that goes around you. You're super focused of what you want and where you go. That no one and nothing is going to stop you. You're feeling like you know one of those crazy people, not crazy people, in a negative way, but in a positive way. People who are misunderstood, but you have some vision. Eight of cups, and here we are. You have a vision which no one else will understand for now. And you don't even have to try to explain that. Because you have within you, you have that vision, what you want to do, what you want to achieve. And this card is a courage. And as I said, Jupiter is going direct and you will need that courage because solar eclipse is going to come 20th of April. Okay. And 
it is definitely going to bring unexpected opportunities. So if there is opportunity and you got to grab it with the both hands, and this is a card of courage. If you got that courage, you're going to grab that. I'm feeling a lot of luck here as well because you are making your own luck. Okay. You are... You want something bigger, something better. This five of pentacles is not faith. It's not enough for you. There's something more you want. It's not just about the money. It's about how you feel about it. Okay. That's what you want. It's a journey. It's a kind of interesting journey. There we go. Queen of pentacles. For some of you guys, it feels like some of you guys could be as well that you are coming uh, out of maybe maternity or being in particular work. Maybe you didn't enjoy something and now you are coming into light and doing things that you want to do. Because Nine of Cups is the wish come true. Finally, I got this job. But finally, I'm starting something that is really fulfilling me. And I can feel like I can put my two feet on the ground and stand proud. And I am proud of what I do. I'm proud of what I succeed. It doesn't matter what everyone else is thinking. But I am proud, okay? This is what is important. And you know how to make that money. And you're going to make that money. Let's see what else we have for you, Libra. It's a very deep reading, I have to say. Very um interesting one. Ace of Swords. You're going to have some great... Oh, okay, thank you. You're going to you <laughs> break ground reading. Oh, Eight of Cups. Interesting, Six of Swords. You're going to have some bonkers ideas. I'm going to tell you like this. You guys are going to bring some sort of interesting, the most interesting ideas to the world. Either this is through writing or music or business, whatever. You're going to be some crazy groundbreaking ones. Because Eight of Cups is courage. You walk away from the norm. Six of Swords is walking away from trouble. You are not faced by no one or nothing. You're going to go where you want to go. And no, you will not allow dim your light for no one or nothing. That's my labor. That's my labor. This is you. You like really, you're going to have some, um, what you call it? Um, Eureka moment, like a light bulb moment. Four of cups. Spend time on your own. Okay. And I know you like to be around people, but you will need to spend some time to uh, recapture those ideas. Because society around you is going to say different. What They will kind of try to dictate what you should and shouldn't do. Make up your own mind. Two, eight, two cups. You got to stay stand strong in your ground, okay? And there, there might be someone who is trying to influence you. But you got to be headstrong. King of Swords. Stay headstrong. Maybe someone in community or in your family might want to tr talk you out of you. Oh. Oh, <laughs> someone might want to talk out of the travel or someone might want to talk out of that um, that job that you want to do because something different than maybe your family wants to prove. Maybe they want you to be a doctor, but you want something else because maybe the doctor doesn't interest you. OK, I'm just sing giving example. But look what we got the world. It's a journey. You are going to your closure. You are moving away from the norm. You are. You're coming out of one... Okay, for some of you guys, you are coming out of maybe school or something coming out of work or coming out of maternity and going into something new. It's like a new chapter starting. This is your new chapter. Stay headstrong. Make your own decisions. Okay? Don't let the King of Swords bully you because they will gonna... There could be some family or some authority or boss dictate... There we go. Someone's tried to manipulate you emotionally as well. Okay. However, this card is written on saying that you are going to weather the storms. You have the capacity. You have the ability. Stand your ground even when the boat is rocking. Okay. Because what you want is the journey. King of Pentacles. Three. Oh my goodness, Libra. You just got three kings. That is crazy. That is significant. That is a great omen. Because King of Pentacles, there could be someone who is guiding you, giving you advice. How to do it. They've been here before. There could be someone uh, who is mentoring you. 
and they are maybe even putting money in to support you maybe giving you learning whatever but this is a card of person in trust and loyal hard working and this is going to be you in some some time and look how he's holding the pentacle like the world i'm gonna get this i make that you know my my thoughts my manifestations come true my dreams come true and i know and i know how to make my dreams come true because i'm on the journey that's gonna make me happy it's something different than anyone else expecting me and i might have some resistance from the closest or from wider range of people but nothing's gonna stop me because the world is in your side here oh yes indeed all right my lovely libra enjoy your april <laughs> and i'm sending you love and light and don't be stranger subscribe like and comment as well and i'll see you guys in the next reading take care my lovely Ta-da!